Hi, I'm James from Solar Choice, Australia's only instant online quote comparison website. And today we're diving into a detailed independent review of the ICO solar panels. So if you're considering these panels for your rooftop, stick around and we'll break down what you need to know about their performance, the pros, the cons, and really what makes these guys a bit different from some of the other panels out there in the Australian market. Remember, this is a uh, non-promotional video. Solar Choice is fully independent. We are not manufacturers or installers, so we can pretty much say whatever we like and present you with the facts so you can make an informed decision for you and your family uh, and for your home. To give you uh, an overview of the company, ICO, officially known as Shanghai ICO Solar Energy Company, is a relatively new player in the Australian market, having only entered in 2024. However, they have been in operation since 2009. So they have well established themselves globally, but um, we do like the fact that they, even though they're new to the market, they've already set up a local office in Melbourne, and that's to ensure customer support here is readily available for you, the end user. We are reviewing these two solar panels today. Uh, the 2P is the more traditional style looking panel. And then we have the all black 2S. We like that the fact that they both have the modern uh, sleek looking black frame, which um, is a factor if you do consider the visual appearance of these panels. And we also like uh, the fact that we have ABC technology, which I'll get into in just a moment. Now, the 2P is a 460 watt solar panel. It's got an impressive maximum efficiency rating of 23.1% making it one of the highest rated panels available today. And the 2S is only slightly lower um, when it comes to both the wattage at 440 watts and also the efficiency rating at 22.1%. Taking a look at performance and reliability of these panels, they really are top performers. So ICO solar panels were tested by PV Evolution Labs, which is a well-respected independent testing body. And they were named top performers for this year 2024. It's worth noting that the specific models tested are the same ones available here in Australia, which isn't always the case when you compare this to other brands. And it's also worth noting that the monoglass panels with the polymer back performed better than the dual glass uh, or dual sided glass panels, which didn't feature um, as top performers in the hail testing and damp heat testing. What really sets these panels apart is their degradation rate. They have a maximum degradation rate of only 0.35% per year, and that's after the second year. To put it in perspective, is a degradation rate in comparison to other panels which have almost double at 0.5 to 0.7%. So really good degradation rates on these particular panels. And that means over time, more efficient than other panels on the market. ICO is a pioneer in the mass production of ABC, all back contact solar cell technology. By placing both the positive and negative contacts on the rear of the cells, ICO reduces the shading on the front. This allows more sunlight to be absorbed and it converts more electricity. And so this means all of those tiny lines, those little metal lines that you see running through other solar panels, aren't there, they're hidden on the back. And so this really does improve that visual appearance once again. Let's talk about the warranty and local support ICO offers. They've got strong warranty coverage with a 25 year product and 30 year performance warranty. The performance warranty is particularly not notable because of that low degradation rate. So it ensures that after 25 years, these panels should still be producing at least 90.6% of their original capacity. So that is one of the best performing on the market today. Let's quickly run through the pros and the cons of the ICO solar panels. They are high efficiency rating, uh, especially the 2P when it comes to efficiency. They've got that um, ABC technology, and it enhances both the uh, performance and the appearance. And they've got that local office support here in Australia, even though they're only relatively new entrants. Now, that is the con. They are new to the market launching only in 2024. So they have yet to establish themselves here in the market. 
So we haven't got a lot of data, we haven't got a lot of information, there aren't a lot of reviews when it comes to Australian conditions for these panels. So it is a major factor when you're looking at these panels in comparison with other more well-established brands in the market. Another factor is that they've yet to be listed as a Bloomberg Tier 1 manufacturer, which is a measure of financial stability of the company. And so we've also been told though that the accreditation is on its way. So be sure to check out the website, they may have that now. Our recommendation would be to get the mono glass as opposed to the dual sided glass panels. And that's particularly because of the better resilience in hail and damp testing. Now, remember, always make sure to get multiple quotes from your installers. Make sure to look at multiple options when you're looking at solar panels for your home. And I hope that this review has been uh, one that's really helped you make an informed uh, decision when it comes to solar for your home. I hope to see you on the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments that you might have on this video. Feel free to ask us any questions or head over to the website for more in-depth reviews from Solar Choice. Thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.